Oh, Father God in the skies above, please let the Ark and the Heart community not be filled with pedos and fucking uh, purrs. Because if they are, Father God, please uh, cleanse them and ban them from all of their obscurity. Because, um... We don't want to be exposed by these sick motherfuckers. Anyway, let's enjoy this uh, game of Hark and Heart 3. Uh, love, Max. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy B Ninja here, and I'm back in the game with another one. <laughs> and as you see in this uh, wacky uh, animation intro, um, we're about to dive in the world of Arcana Heart 3. I love Max. So, um, yeah, I just recently uh, purchased uh, this and the remake, uh, Six Stars, uh, on Steam because uh, themes have in the summer sale where basically every single game is more than half off. So, um, you got till July 9th to uh, cop yourself uh, this game and other titles off Steam uh, if you want to save some bucks during these COVID times. But anyway, um, the reason I hop back into this game because uh, it's been one of the titles I've been wanting to get back into for the longest. And um, playing the original Arkham Heart uh, when it first came out on PlayStation 2 uh, got me... Uh, thrilled the fact that, hey, it's not only an all-female fighting game, but it's one uh, coexisting with uh, Arc System, so, and you know how Arc System is uh, with their fighters, uh, consisting with uh, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blues, and Underknight, and so on, so, um, add this game to the collection. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go through the story modes of uh, some of my favorite characters, and for today's uh, video, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the Chinese uh, Robo Waifu herself, and uh, I need to backtrack with the term uh, Waifu uh, with this video game because, uh, as you see in the character roster on the top right, uh, basically every character in this game, as you can tell, with characters like this, characters like her. Her, her, and this bitch. <laughs> they are basically under the age of 18! So I am not gonna risk getting my channel ban uh, on some pedophilia shit. So, and if I catch you guys in the comments uh, expressing shit like that, I'm gonna find your ass and I'm gonna ban your ass because I don't condone any of that shit. I'm just here to play the games and enjoy the mechanics and the gameplay of all these female fighting game characters, no matter what their age. So, uh, fuck off, Beddos! So anyway, I'm just gonna get into uh, today's story and, um... Basically, uh, what my favorite character is about to say is, uh, commencing battle, about to uh, blast all these bitches uh, with my robo wreckiness. so, uh, let's go with, uh, Mei Fang's story mode, and, um, uh, basically I'm gonna stick with her, uh, main Arcana, which is, uh, the Fire Arcana, which is Langong, uh, so, uh, let's go Lei Fang, uh, excuse me, wrong character, let's go Mei Fang, <laughs> And there's uh, her, uh, basically creator, uh, Ling Hua, mixing her up. So uh, let us express our love with all these uh, female fighting games, uh, despite the fact that it's a 12 to 18 year old roster. But anyway, let's go. This is the raw ore that makes up a celestial stone? A crystallized form of the sacred energy? The energy locked inside will become the power source of the next generation. The odds are pretty low, but there is a slim chance these celestial stones might make it into the world through planet Rest. But for now, I need to focus on my mission. Collect as many of these stones as I can, and then return to... TN30 22 GS 130 57. Whatever the fuck that means. 
Mayfeld was designed to be an ultimate multi-purpose humanoid prototype, uh, the result of the extensive research done by Professor Mei Ling Hua. Petra Lagerbertista, Lagerbertis, Lagerbertis, whatever the fuck you want to pronounce her last name. So Petra, the head of uh, the Celestial Union's uh, Rosenberg branch, invited uh, Professor Hua to be an advisor to the Union, who accepted, accompanied by Mei Feng. Upon discovering the Drexler Institute was behind the planet rest up here in throughout Japan, the professor and Mei Feng volunteered to do something about them. It is safe to assume that the planet rifts are not natural and the Drexler Institute is behind them. We need to stop them before the plans come to fruition. Alright, Mei Feng, let's do this! Let's stop the Drexler Institute from uh, exposing all this. Alrighty, so I get to select my opponent. Um, let's go with the creepy. <laughs> let's go with the creepy, perky uh, demon nun. Yeah, so, I'm trying to make something like you. I'm thinking of creating a homunculus or a golem. Clarence, you're one creepy bitch. You do know that, right? <laughs> so, so what? The Arcana of Sin. I mean, look at how revealing she is, and no wonder she's very sinful. Alright, they think? Let's go! <laughs> Hit it with the Yun! Flying kit! Yun! Backflip! Yun! <laughs> oh my god, I love this character already! Alright. You know what? Let's burn this demon with fire! Ah. Ah. Burn that demon with fire! <laughs> okay, your perkiness is scaring me, Clarence. Let's eat this! Oh. Alright. You're gonna eat all of this, Rekka, you scary demon! I mean, look at the wings. Look at the wings that she's covering behind her. And look at Ling Hua, just, uh, <laughs> petting Mei Feng like a freaking pet. I'm like, that's a good Mei Feng. Very good Mei Feng. So you're trying to create what most humans would consider a magical creature? I admit, I very much like to see that. I look forward to see how your work progress. Uh. Hey, Fang, you don't want to see what Clarence is up to. Get his own. Oh, look, it's the reporter named Reporter. I was like, I thought she has a name. Yes, this is Hyodo, reporting live from the scene. I'm sure everyone is watching right now recalls uh, the bizarre incident that occurred not too long ago. What we're now receiving, what we're now receiving word is that similar phenomena are taking place uh, not only in the eastern regions, but all throughout Japan. Throughout current are currently Benini, the panic uh, being incited by the uh, phenomenon is spreading throughout the world, causing crime rates to soar and the global economy to teeter on collapse. I think I can safely say that everyone is hoping for a quick resolution to this disaster. However, authorities seem to be clueless as to whatever needs to be done. This is what Hyodo reporting live from the scene. Now, back to the studio. Alright, go risk yourself for the sake of your job. I'm like, go on, Hyodo. Um, let's go with, uh... Go with Lilika. I mean, she was a friend of my dad and all, although this is gonna be a bit 
bitch. If I beat the hell out of you, I'll make you happy. I'll make him happy. Maybe. Damn, Lilika. Damn, I'm really super amp now. Thanks for your excuse to go super fly TNT. I'm gonna pound you into mulch. Bitch, I wish the fuck you would. Lilika, with our Arcana Tempestas. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come in skating with the ice cream, and now she realized that she's about to get fucked up pretty bad. Alright. Let's go, Lilica. Let's go, Lilica. <laughs> Eat it with all this, Rekka. Right, let's see this. No, you did not just throw me. You know what? I got a throw too. Ah! Wang Gong! Burn this bitch! With all the powers combined, I am Captain Planet! <laughs> While you blew out her skates. <laughs> That's a good main thing. That's a good main thing, uh, burning this bitch uh, like the uh, punk bitch that she is. <laughs> it isn't always easy to do something on behalf of a friend. I admire your loyalty, uh, even though you're such a brat, Lika. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, see what's next. Second Celestial Stone secured. Still, these won't be nearly enough. I need twice as many in order to awaken it. I better get moving before anyone else sees me. Or oh, I'll just finish the mission up on my own. Alright, Charlotta, what do you got? Or Charlotta. Whatever the fuck you pronounce her name is, I'll just call her Char. He's up to something. I must hurry. But why? I am alone. I don't know, Char. Why are you so alone? Oh, hell. I gotta choose between one of the two. Uh, which child should I beat up, unfortunately? Let's go with the crayon girl. With this happy ass theme. <laughs> Where are all the sisters? Red! What? Where did you go? Play with Echo! Echo and Kanzuhiro. I'm assuming that's the giant portrait of Echo. Why are you here? This clearly goes against your instructions to stay in Rosenberg. Professor, should I apprehend them and take them back? Please play with Echo, China Lady! <laughs> Let's play battle! If Echo wins, Echo's gonna go look for her sisters! China Lady. I mean, she is a child, so basically her vocabulary is limited, so... Fine, why not make fun? Let's humor Echo, shall we? And be sure to go out on her. Forget the gods, put the fear of me into her! <laughs> Damn, Mei Ling! So Mei Ling basically has a knack for scaring childs to death by putting the fear of Mei Ling Hua on children. The Arcana of Luck. Because Echo just wants to play and possibly go to the mall. Let me draw this little chalk. This happy go lucky chalk. I can't <laughs> block with the freaking umbrella. What in the fuck? At least I'm beating up the chalk and not the girl. Ugh. 
be gone, fuck! I bitch! Okay. Okay. I'm so hard focused because of this goddamn character. Eat all. Hold the fucks up. No, what is that? Just block all of that. No. No. <laughs> Beat the chalk off with all them kicks. I know what to do. Okay, you're doing the BB hood. I see you. But burn the chalk, but not the child. Just the chalk. Uh, ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Chill, you flippin' jock! It's been an echo all over the place. Alright, burn this chalk to ashes! <laughs> R.I.P. chalk. But Echo, you safe! We'll protect you and send you back to Petra, whatever the fuck her last name is. <laughs> the conflict has been resolved and I have emerged victorious. Now, Echo, return to Rosenberg at once. Or I will burn you once more. Or send the fear of Mei Ling on upon you. You're so strong, China lady! You beat Echo! So I'll get a present! Oh, hey. What in the? This is a celestial zone! Thanks! Echo is a really good girl and adorable to boot. Are you talking about booting this little girl with your foot, Mailing? You sick as fuck, girl. Echo's going to look for her sisters now! Thanks for playing with Echo! Bye! Bye, bye, China lady. I'll play with you sometime once I find my sisters. Oh, yes, uh, Hey, Dina is. You know what? Let's go to Petra. Let's see what the dialogue is with Dina. I see you've secured a celestial zone. Very impressive. Uh, I expect you to continue your hard work and take care of the planet res as well as the Drexler Institute. Petra, are you so serious? I right, nice see you. Let's see how serious you are against me. Look at Petra coming out all pimped out and ready to take charge. I'm like, you want to talk about a boss ass bitch? That is Petra. But ow! And she is a boss ass bitch because she's beating my ass! That's royalty in a nutshell. Oh, yes, uh, get all this work, huh? Nope. Ah! Nope. Fuck your A, Christina! Ah! <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Sit down, Petra! Chill! Chill! Ow! Ah! Nope. <laughs> Get her with all this work, huh? Ow! Sound waves. Ah, wasn't close enough. Ah. 
Uh, you need to chill, Petra. Chill, Petra. Yeah. <laughs> I could morph into a high school girl, you know. <laughs> Even though I prefer the Chinese dress. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your confidence in me. I will continue with my assignment. I think Petra and Karen from Street Fighter need to join forces, basically lead all of their Zaibatsu uh, <laughs> clans uh, all in one. Alright, Char's back. <laughs> the third Celestial Stone secured. Damn it! I still don't have enough and it looks like someone else is uh, grabbing Celestial Stones uh, for themselves. Oh well, I'll just steal whatever they manage to find. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I alone? Why won't you come for me? I will do anything. Anything. I don't care what it is. I'll do it. I can do anything. I'm doing this all to protect our world. Your world. But why be enforced to fight this battle alone? <laughs> <laughs> My mission. I need to hurry up and finish as soon as I can. I want to... Need to... See you. Okay, what is this psycho whack job of... Basically obsessing over. Oh, we got Weiss, okay. Greetings, Mei Feng. Professor Huan. It's been many moons since our last. Wait a second. In this case, hey, you guys, long time no see? To realize the final step in our plan, I require that you relinquish possession of the Celestial Stone to me. How would you say that in everyday speech? Please relinquish ownership of your celestial stone to me. Oddly enough, I actually anticipate your question. I see. Let me try that. <clears throat> Please relinquish ownership of your celestial stone to me. Hey, I did it! Okay, it's always another one of those. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, and her, uh, Arcana is the Spirit of the Tear, which is basically a sword based Arcana. Okay, she got friends slash family as well. Okay. And basically, she's Millie Rage with the long hair. Ah! Ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, chill. Ow, 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 ow. Why? Chill, girl. Chill. Dang it, I was just one hit away. Resume mission. Must. Ba 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 
Eat him with all this Rekka! Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Oh, ah! <laughs> Need to chill, wise. Chill! No, ah! Talk about visibility. Ah, come on, I got overhead. Excellent job, Wise. I'll let you continue with the mission going forward. After analyzing data, I must resume and destroy Wise. Yeah, I forgot I can, uh... Ah! All that attack, all right. <laughs> So cool. I don't remember, I realize I gotta use the E button more often. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Ah! Dang. Ah! Dang. Ah! Yes! Ah! Thank you. Ah! Good job. You redeemed yourself against Wise. Ah, the finding prowess uh, of the Drexler's uh, Asir. <laughs> Very impressive. Just as I thought it'd be. Too bad it's not good. Too bad there's no good way uh, to harness that power. I have no intention of arguing with an ally, but the Institute's actions are in direct with conflict with... No, I mean, I want to be the one who stops the Institute. I apologize for any inconvenience of my actions may cause, but I will need to borrow your Celestial Stones. Now, if you may excuse me, I have to put a stop to... I think this is how you put it, yes? I'm sorry, Professor. It appears that she liberated the stone from my possession during battle. I will follow pursuit and recover it. This is Professor Hyodo. Once again, reporting live uh, from the field. I am currently heading west in search of more of these uh, disturbing phenomena. 
We just obtained some new information. It is estimated that a large scale incident is expected to occur somewhere in the Asumi Islands. This is according to experts familiar with the growing crisis. Um, is this really something that the public should be informed about? Um, what's this? We're now going live to the chopper. Yes, I understand. I, I normally just uh, do fluff pieces, but I'll try my best. <laughs> so basically, you're putting her at risk uh, of her life in regards of investigating what's going on. Okay. Alright, now we got the Shar. Carla, there you are. I knew I was correct in thinking uh, that there was a reason to disappear was to stop the Institute's ultimate plans, but you got it. I'm going to stop the activation of the Divine Celestial Weapon. Sophie. I'm doing it to protect the, our world and to protect you. So that's why you went off on your own then? If you had only informed me, we could have worked together and dealt with the situation a great deal fast. I did what I did for you, but why did you come after me? Why didn't you do anything for me? Oh shit! Don't lot right. Charlotte, let go of me. What's wrong? What do you plan on doing with the celestial stones? You know, if I just kill you right here and now, then off myself right after. We'd be together for eternity, right? You'd be mine. All mine. But basically, Sharaha is basically in love with Wise, aka Sophie. Oh, okay. But there's someone who keeps getting in my way. Sophie. Please wait for me, okay? There's someone I need to kill first. What are you going on about? We're free from the Institute. We don't need to kill anyone. Analyze the situation. Charla Hot set the threat level determined to be at maximum. Now engage in battle mode. Professor, please stand back. Yes, McVeigh, kill this bitch. <laughs> kill this psychotic bitch! Yeah, Spirit of the Thanir. Look at all these weapon chains. So basically, Charlotte Hot is an SNA girl. SNM girl. Ah, bitch! Oh fuck, 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 Come on, Nathan, hit her with the wrecker, ah! I said the wrecker, not the DP! Hit, uh, you know what? Bitch! Ah! Alright, I see what you're all about. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, this chick is so OP as hell. Oh, come on. Ah! 
動力、緊急停止。ソフィー、待って。ソフィー。My current source is I need to kill this bitch. <laughs> ah! Dang, she just throwing attacks out of nowhere! Ah! Ah! Here we go. <laughs> There we go. Gotta throw them Arcanet attacks more often. There we go. Ow! Ah. Ow, ow. Oh boy. <laughs> Throw this bitch to some brains! Let's go, May Thing! Ah! Look at the fan service! Conflict resolved uh, with only slight injuries detected. Charlotte has been incapacitated. Now, free and wise. <laughs> Why do you keep getting in my way? Why are you trying to come between me and Sophie? You should die. Everyone should die. Die, 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 The slash just was just blew away! Uh, May Fung, this is not good! Nope, not good at all! What in the. What is that thing? Yes! Yes! It's the camera whirling? This is a uh, Hyodo again. I apologize for the interruption. We are now headed toward the uh, Tanega Island. The staff and I are at complete loss of words. How... How can we even begin to explain the scene in front of me? What, whatever the case, we will try to move closer. Yes. Try to get a little closer. So it finally emerges from the shadows, the divine celestial weapon. Until now, it was just a whispered rumor amongst uh, would-be celestial engineers. And now, I get to see it. Verifying connection to celestial energy sources. Cores. One, two, three, four, five. Now acquiring celestial energy. Long range celestial artillery. Odin. Activated. Defense systems. Activated. Fire and sweetlands now set to top priority. Gungnir. 
is uh, operating with uh, exceptional uh, parameters. Accumulation of celestial energy uh, for uh, propul propulsion completed. Coating of the warhead and celestial energy completed. Celestial cluster rocket Sleipnir activated. Accumulation of celestial energy for propulsion completed. Now commencing Operation Nihon Go. Calculating target coordinates. 36, 35 degrees, 21 inches, uh, 28.8 inches north, 31, 138 degrees, or 53 uh, feet, uh, 51.6 uh, inches uh, east. Uh, target identified as uh, active volcano, Mount Fiji. Define celestial weapon, Ragnarok, online. T e minus 30 until Gunier uh, is fully Gunier is fully charged. T e minus 60 until uh, Slayfear is fully charged. T e minus 70 until Ragnarok discharges. 69, 61. Professor, please stand back. Anti-Grand Artificial Celestial Entity Tactics Program initiated. Discussion of the Divine Celestial Weapon commencing. Alright, mate, bang up. Let's kill this bot! Now, I know this bot is a problem for a lot of players, and I gotta beat it within the time limit in order, in order to get the good ending. If not, then I'll have to sit with the bad ending. Yes, destroy the target within the limit. Jesus! Yeah, this thing is a problem. So I gotta defeat the five thing. Damn, this boss is a problem. I think I might have a grasp of what to do, just to uh, defeat the the targets. Ah. Ah!
There we go. Uh, ah. All right, I think I'm getting the groove now. <laughs> and I gotta use the homing in order to attack the uh, expected targets. Okay, I'm feeling myself now. All right. There we go. Let's go, May Thing! <laughs> Let's go, May Thing! What is good? Like I said, just spam the Arcana attacks and you get this bot! <laughs> Source of celestial energy. Loss. Unable to initiate initialize systems. Defensive systems have shut down. Odin. Gungnir. Sleep near. Celestial energy transfer sequence. Terminated. Short person. You done fucked up, Aaron. I'm the one true bot that matters. So die. Unable to initiate the divine a celestial weapon, <laughs> Ragnarok. Fire in sequence. Fire in sequence aborted. In other words, die, bot, die, die. The divine celestial weapon, uh, Ragnarok, has been destroyed. Professor, the arena is the er this area is still dangerous. We should withdraw immediately. Yes, this is Hyodo, reporting live from the scene. We're about to land in Technina Island uh, and investigate this mysterious structure. Well, we were going to investigate the structure, but it seemed to have disappeared. Landing? Yes. Well, there doesn't seem to be a need to anymore. <laughs> Um, this is Hyodo, reporting from the scene of, uh, Tanega Island. Now, uh, back to the studio, uh, I guess. <laughs> A few days later. During the Great War, the Drexler Institute was researching methods to artificially infuse subjects with celestial energy. Three generations of experiments have passed, uh, between, uh, recorded. The three uh, designations are were as follows. First generation, Norn. Second generation, Aetir. Third generation, Aesir. The side effects of the uh, process were... The side effects of the process that were used were limited to first and second generations. The side effects included becoming albino in appearance as well as memory loss. In addition, the uh, mortality rate amongst test subjects uh, were extremely high as uh, the process required that in in inordinate, inordinate, inordinate amount of uh, concentrated celestial energy uh, to be used. Sorry, I'm trying to pronounce these words. Those few that were able to survive the process and stay sane were able to completely contain the energy source force into the resulting in a process called spiritualization. However, it appears that the process was forced. What? However, it appears that the process was uh, perfected over the course of all three generations. Uh, the final generation became totally human in appearance. And that concludes our brief summary of the Drexler Institute's research. Are there any questions? 
Um, so the girls who've managed to survive the infusion process, are they? How do I say this? I studied the availability workers, uh, and there were there are no known instances of any test subjects living in a normal lifespan. The only this only applies to early generations, though. However, in regards to the last two surviving second generation uh, subjects, uh, L. Freed and Lizalet uh, Akabak, these two girls were considered am animalities by Drexler's researchers uh, as they sit somewhere between the second and third generations. Uh, quite rare, really. That's probably why the Drexler's Institute would wanted to keep a particularly uh, close eye on them. Thank you very much for the information, Professor. I trust your opinion in regards to this matter. Damn right, Petra. Damn! <laughs> Mei Ling? Getting close to like, Mei Feng like that! <laughs> Professor, I still do not understand. Why would the Drexler Institute perform such an inhuman experiments for decades on end? I can think of a couple of reasons, actually. The obvious uh, was uh, <laughs> the obvious one was to create invisible weapons uh, as they were at war at the time. Another would be eternal life, maybe. Spiritualization, the process of transcending the human condition. It could be considered a path to immortality. Perhaps they felt that science was the answer. In the end, it is a scientist's morals that dictates the course of their research. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Mei Feng, I owe you an apology. I made the celestial engine that gives you life out of a uh, hubris. Depending on how you see it, I either I either bless you with eternal life or curse you with everlasting damnation. Professor, there is no need for you to apologize, even if it leads, if it, even it, even less need to feel guilt. Excuse me. You have my internal gratitude, as you are the one who gave me the gift of life. Aww. Thank you, Mei Fang, my beloved daughter. I mean, she created Mei Fang, so it made sense that this three-year-old daughter. Though look like a teenager, is a child to her. And there you have it! That is uh, Mei Feng's storyline of uh, Arcana Heart 3 Love Max. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking. Uh, forward to playing through the story uh, with the other characters. Uh, looks like I'm gonna do Petra next, and uh, after a while, if I decide if I want to do the other characters, I will definitely progress through the story modes through the other characters, and I will definitely showcase uh, their lore into this game um, throughout uh, my YouTube channel for sure. And once I get comfortable with the characters, I will definitely uh, battle with other Arcana Heart players online and test my skills against them to get this game more out there in the forefront and let them know that, hey, here's another underrated uh, fighter that people are definitely sleeping on. So yeah, that does it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed Mei Feng's uh, story arc uh, as loyal and precise she is to her creator, <laughs> Mei Ling Hua. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, you would like to see more of Arcana Heart 3 uh, Love Max or Six Stars because I do have the updated version of this game right here and kind of a spoiler alert um, don't get to face Ragnarok uh, six stars you face uh, the new character as the final boss so anyway if you wanted to see me play through more Arcana Heart and if you got some character requests of who I will do next uh, after Petra just leave a comment in the video also like this video right here share it with your friends and most importantly do the Julia Chang and don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, it's your boy B Ninja, and I'm out of this. Hopefully you enjoyed May Fake's story, and we'll be back more with other story progressions with other characters. So later's.